domination. And they'll kill the Christians and the Jews. Hmm. If you look in the book of Revelations and study what scriptures say about the one called the Antichrist, you'll see that it very closely mirrors this one they call the twelfth Imam. And Muslims will blindly follow him, thinking he's the Messiah, when he's actually just going to lead them straight to the pits of hell. This story about Syria war tipping Mideast balance towards Sunni says, Arabs everywhere listened when the leader of Hezbollah spoke not long ago, Sheikh Hassan Nasrallah's prominence bolstered by his Lebanese guerrilla forces battles against Israel was a sign of the rising regional influence of Shiite Muslims and overwhelmingly Shiite Iran. Now his speeches don't even make front pages in Lebanon. The change is emblematic of how the bloody conflict in Syria now in its 18th month has brought a shift in the Middle East's sectarian power balance. For much of the past year Shiites were surging in power across the region based on the central alliance between Iran, Syria and Hezbollah with close relations to Shiites who took power in post-Saddam Hussein Iraq. But now the region's Sunni-led powers are appearing more confident, encouraged by the prospect that the Sunni-led rebellion could bring down the Syrian President Bashar Assad's regime, dominated by members of the Shiite offshoot sect of Alawites. The Sunnis don't believe the, all of the uh, 12th Imam and the Mahdi references. They, in fact, would probably be considered the more peaceful of the two. So even in Islam, they have their disagreements. It's amazing.